Hello all my friends, today we are celebrating. Today Effect and Particle Editor is released in the beta version and for all, uh, all access supporters you can now go to the Discord and download your copy. Well today I'm going to show you how to create uh, some effects and then I'm going to show you how you can get them running inside Game Guru Max. So let's get started. Let's just make a simple bubble effect. A soap bubble effect. What we do is just uh, select here uh, alpha blended soap bubble. Let's see how that looks. That looks fine. Give it some uh, directions, random directions like these. Perhaps make them move fast up, like so, and give them some gravity downward. See them now moving up, and then they are going down again. We need to give them some more life, perhaps around six seconds. You see, and we have a soap bubble effect. Let's just give it some randomness in the, to the size of the soap bubbles. Just a little. See you then I've come out in different sizes. Perhaps a little more. So we get large and small soap bubbles. Look so great. Whoa! That is our first effect, and uh, we are going to make this work inside Game Cooler Max in a second. But uh, let's save this. Oops, just going into my emitter bank. Here it is. That's where you store all the new particle effects. I mean, we will call it bubble area. And why I call it area, I will show you when we get it that I integrate it into GameCore Max. Well, let's now make another area effect. Uh, and we are going to make a new emitter called Fire Area. Like so. So let's make a fire area. First thing we need to do is uh, set this as a volume emitter like so and then we are going to uh, resize the area where we want this effect to be so I'm going to press this to use the scaling and we are going to scale here the area that we need or want like so this looks fine and perhaps in the other direction too so now we have a small area. Let's just try to enable the start marker so we see how large the area is. Perhaps it's too large. Let's make it a bit smaller like so. That's fine. And then we will make some fire particles come up here. Uh, when I do fire, I like to use this flip book. Flip book. This one, the blue one, it don't look like a uh, fire, but uh, we will make it look like fire. First of all, we would like them to be uh, larger, so we will give them some size, like so, perhaps even larger. Then we have a fade in time. It should be larger, so they slowly fade in. Then we will not move them so fast, perhaps only have gravity too. And then we are going to scale them, depending on how long they have lived. We could try... is that too much? No, that's kind of look nice. Perhaps a little more life. Four seconds, around four seconds. Let's see how that looks. That could look like a fire. The colors are just wrong, but uh, let's us just reduce the number of 
partikel we spawn. We don't like this much. And then let us give them some emission. That's way too much, but uh, that's fine for a start. And then we will set the start color of the fire to something like this, orange. And it should go to red when they die. See when they die they become more red and it's starting to look like a fire. Perhaps we want more, perhaps a, a little larger particles. We'll just remove this. And then we want it to be more white in the beginning. We could do that by adjusting the this you see now it begins to get white and then it goes up to uh, red. I don't like the speed of the animation, so we will set that to around 25. 25 frames per second. You can see now they're starting to move better. And uh, I think I want it faster. Yeah, now it's starting to look like a fire. Not sure if we should have more of them. Also, I'll perhaps let's just see how uh, far it goes up. I think it should go up more. Let's see how that looks. Okay, now it's a huge fire, perhaps too much. What about here? Yeah, perhaps gives a uh, five second. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, okay. We get the red here. Perhaps it should be darker, but uh, this, this is fine for now. Yeah, you can spend so much time of these effects, but uh, I think this is starting to look okay. We can perhaps make it a bit darker. The start color. A little more red. And the in color perhaps a little less. Yeah, that, that, uh, yeah. Let's stick with this. So uh, let's save this uh, this effect and call it the fire area. Like so. Okay, let's start up Max and I will show you how to use this effect and also how to add a simple uh, rain effect. I think I showed in another video how to make a simple rain, stuff like that. You can check those videos out. So let's get it into Mars to Max. After you downloaded the particular editor, you will find a demo folder inside. Yeah, what you do is just uh, launch this, and it don't matter where you install it, it should work from any location. Uh, you find a de de demo folder. Inside this you have a script bank, where there is some uh, sample, Lua script you can use, and in the emitter bank there is some demo, uh, some demo effects you can try, there is uh, birds flying around, uh, Dirt Splash, that was from another video, and the Heavy Rain was from another video, and a Burst Explosion. You can look at those and uh, see how they are made. You should copy those to your uh, uh, document folder where you have your Game Cooler Max files, under files, and emitter bank, this one goes, and under files, script bank, those goes. So, I'm just going to pause this uh, video and start up Max. Okay, we are back. I'll just see if it is recording. Yes, it is. And I just opened the Jungle Fever demo level. Let's go into that. So we can try to add our new effects somewhere. We have the bubble effect and the fire effect. Do, do, do. Loading level. Perhaps I should have done that before we started again. 
But well, just let it load. Let's see what we have. Okay. We have some zombies here. Perhaps we should try to add our uh, fire a fire area inside here. Do we have something we can use to make it? Well, it don't really matter what uh, that is. Uh, this one we can add that, and this we will make into a physics, so we can add a script to it, make it always active, and set that it should never move. It doesn't really matter with the physics and stuff. And then we go into behaviors, and we will add our fire area. So we search for Wicked Particle Editor, and we have uh, the different uh, demo scripts that I made, so you can get started, and uh, one of them is called Area. We will use that, oops. And then we just uh, select what effect we like. I will just uh, write it here immediately, and it was called uh, fire area dot p for not my name but particle effect like that and then uh, I would like to have a fire here where the zombie comes going out of the fire let's see how that works out so we should have our area effect now if we did everything correctly let's see I'll just grab this gun. And you can see we have our fire and we have the zombie inside. Well, we should have moved it a bit so it was uh, further inside. Uh, let's move the crate. That would also move the, the fire. Like so. I think that was. I would think that would cover him. And we can then try to add another effect, just to, as a demonstration, we could try to add, uh, where is the start, player start is here, just move it out a bit, and we can drop in a trigger zone, like so. And in that trigger zone we are going to change the behavior to one of the wicked particle effects behavior called zone and in this zone we can se select what uh, effect we like and we like uh, a meter bank we can just uh, try to make one of the the heavy rain in here what did I call that is uh, included in the demo folder and it's called Heavy Rain Free. Heavy Rain Free dot PI, like so. Then we have some options. So not as the normal. You can uh, disable the effect when you go uh, indoors. This is one. We don't want, want to do that on this. And uh, then you can disable it when you go outside the zone. Also, we don't want that. We want wanted the heavy rain on all of the levels, so we'll just be able to disable those two, like so. Let's just see how that looks. And you can see now we have the heavy rain, and we have our our area fire over here. And here yeah, now the sample is coming out of the fire. Yeah, so great. So, let's add our bubbles, soap bubbles. We can just do it right here. Or should we do it over here somewhere? Where do we want the soap bubbles? Mm -hmm. Soap bubbles, where do you go?
Yeah, well, this just adds something. This just adds something. We can do use it. What about bread? And then we have uh, soap bubbles coming out of here from the other zombie. Let's just set it to fish is on. Not move, always active. And change the behavior. Now it's not health, now we want it to be an area. And we want our. Uh, bubble. What did we call it? Bubble area? Did we call it that? Let's try and see if that works. Okay, it's raining and we got our fire and our soap bubble effects. So, oops. Let's just Bloody go great. And the zombies coming out. We have a fire area over here too. Yeah, perhaps we should have made it more dense, the fire area, but uh, for now it's fine. So, that's how you add your uh, effects to uh, Game Guru Max itself. And remember, you can now download the effect editor, effect and the particle editor. Oh. So, log into the Discord now and get your copy.